The next part of the video covers the eight basic techniques of ninjutsu or budokajutsu. They're called the kihon hapo or the eight basic techniques. And um, again, eight is a little bit of a misnomer in that uh, each of these eight is just a basic indication of a strategy or a, or, or a set of tactics that you could use in a fight. And each one uh, needs to be explored and variations uh, built upon the training. So this is just the basic foundation of Budo Kajutsu here. So we're going to run through these eight techniques fairly quickly. Um, but uh, when you practice them at home and preferably with some kind of a training partner, uh, you want to try them from the right and from the left, and you want to try them from uh, different kinds of attacks and see if you can't move spontaneously into these kind of techniques from all different kinds of directions and in all kinds of different uh, situations. The first one is called, uh, I guess just Ichimonji would be the way to describe it because of the, the, uh, the first kamai or attitude that um, that we, uh, that we are going to be working from. Now, the Ichimonji no Kamai is a basic, uh, I don't want to say stance, more of an attitude, a full body attitude that, uh, again, body, mind, and spirit is all together. So this is just not in a physical form. It's a whole attitude of how to approach um, uh, the fighting situation. Left leg is out, toe pointing toward the... Uh, the direction of wherever the threat is coming from. This hand is uh, pretty straightforward, pointing at the person's eyes. This hand comes across the body here, sometimes here, sometimes here, depending on the, the different school. Uh, but uh, in the ninja school, it would be here, and you'd be a little bit lower. And it's very similar to the the fire technique from the uh, Sanshin no Kata. Moving back, out of the way at a 45 degree angle, striking up, and the, the open hand, or omote shuto, uh, to the side of the neck. John? And John would throw that punch. And you can see that as this comes in, backing out of the way, hitting, striking, and uh, the shuto to the neck. That's the first one. Uh, the second one, or maybe part B of the first one, uh, is the Uda Shuto. Uda, or is the back side of the hand, is used. And uh, this is very similar to the, the fire technique from the Sanchi no Kata. Again, stomach punch. And a strike right in there. So the second one. Okay. Now you can see we're starting to uh, move a little bit more. It's not as much of a static form as it is a, uh, a real fighting attitude. A little bit more up to speed. And we can turn this into other techniques. Right. Okay, let's fix on that. The next one is called uh, Jumonji no Kamai. It's from the Jumonji no attitude, or the figure 10 attitude. And that's because of how the arms are crossed here. So from Ichimonji, you would move to arms crossed type of Kamai, a little bit lower, fiery type of attitude, perhaps. And the punch would come in. And we're moving that way. Striking here. And the footwork is very important. As he goes to attack, Boshi can strike. Different kind of Mitsubishi. Pointing to the eyes to hold the person. I'm going to be moving this way. OK, so from here. Lowering, hitting, Boshi Ken, Mitsubishi. Lowering, hitting, 
Boshin Ken, Mitsubishi. Let's take a quick look at the footwork here and we'll move on. Just the feet, please. You can see this is very flowing. Okay. So the footwork is very important in this uh, Jumonji no Kamai. The next Kamai or attitude is Hicho no Kamai. The Hicho no Kamai is translated loosely as flying bird uh, attitude or wimpy bird attitude sometimes. The foot uh, is uh, heading out this way at a 90 degree angle from the target. Uh, this right knee is bent and this left leg uh, comes right up uh, at the, at the uh, right knee. Hand goes across and this hand is holding here. Strikes down, kick, and Udashu Tao. Okay. okay. Let's try it with John. Stomach punch comes in, strike, kicks. Where do I shoot tall? More time. Okay. And that's he should not come on. The next uh, technique is uh, omote gyaku. Omote is open, and uh, in this case, it will be John's hand that is open. Gyaku means twist. It's a grabbing technique. As John grabs here, I'm moving back, pushing his hand up, palm is open, and taking the person to the ground. One more time. Try the other side. This hand is open. Push, drop my body. I say push up. Elbow in a little bit and push this down to the ground. Okay. That's a mote gyaku. Ura gyaku. Buddha Gyaku is the top hand, top side of the hand. In this case, again, John's hand will be turned. He reaches here, reaching over, grabbing here. Again, lowering my body and isolating this hand. Stepping this way to put him down. One thing you can do with this uh, Uridyaku is lock the shoulder. Now I lock the shoulder by bending this elbow here so he can't turn his shoulder. As you can see, I have this kind of a strange angle here. And try to turn your elbow over. Can't do it. So I can push him down here. And that's how we take the person down. This side. Uh, I'll grab with that hand. Okay. Using my body to pull him off balance, pushing here on his hand and stepping at the same time. He's got, as he pulls it back in, I can use that movement. And this hand is twisted here, and the shoulder, again, is locked. You can't turn it over. And he's slap side, you can't get out of it. All right. The next technique is called uh, onikudaki. Onikudaki means crush the devil. And uh, well, you can see where that one got its name from in a second. Again, it's a grabbing technique. I move inside of this arm, away from the other hand so I can't be punched. I walk these two hands together, isolating the shoulder again, pulling out a little bit, bending my knees, then using that to 
take him to the ground. Okay, one more time. Let's try the other side. Um, use that hand, please. Okay, so as he goes to grab, I move inside softly, isolating this leg and getting away from that other punch, grabbing right into, into here. Walk these hands together. And this shoulder is isolated. I can push it straight down. And you can see, I have the shoulder pretty well caught here. All right. The next technique is called Musa Dori, uh, from an arm grab. Lowering my weight, moving out, pushing out against this, and opening up the shoulder again. Reaching through here. Again, I'm moving away from this punch. Lower my body here, catching this elbow. Lifting up, push that leg out. You can see that I have his shoulder again. Okay, over on this side. So when he grabs, moving and stretch out, so he has to let go. And you can see I'm already hurting his balance. I've got his leg caught here. If he tries to punch, I can move out of the way, which further ruins his balance. Down, catch up, strike into that leg, and you can see that his shoulder is pretty caught here. The final technique in this series is called Ganseki Nage, or to drop a big rock. Uh, he grabs here. I'm moving out again, away from this other punch, isolating the shoulder, moving down underneath here to knock that arm off. You can see it's getting caught in an arm bar behind my neck. As I step through, I tack this leg and the back of his, uh, his elbow, lower my body, keep my back straight, and twist my spine. And that's our throw. Uh, we'll try a couple of different ones here because there's a lot of variations of this particular technique. Sean? Let's do another one from the other side. John? Reaching in here to cut that arm off. Now I have this caught, I have this leg here, and there's my throw. And those are the basic techniques of ninjutsu, the kion hapo, or the eight basics. Uh, my teacher, Hatsumi Sensei, said to me, now those basic eight techniques are really glimpses of certain principles in body movement. And from those eight, you should practice eight variations. And from each of those eight variations of the original eight, you should practice eight more variations, and eight more and eight more uh, ad infinitum, and that's uh, enough training uh, for a lifetime. And uh, I can tell you from personal experience, I'm still right in the middle of all of that training. And I hope that this glimpse of uh, the Kihon Hapo uh, is going to help you and give you a real solid foundation for your training in Budo Taijutsu, the training system of the ninja. So that ought to get you started. Actually, these basic exercises and techniques are the things that I still work on after 20 years, almost every day. Now, in subsequent videos, we'll be talking about other important things, such as philosophy, health, and the diet of a ninja. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. This is Jack Hogan signing off. Keep training.